We're out here tonight to look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in astrophotography. Which one is going to be better? Because this bad boy, this has gotten a lot better. This place at this time of year, at this time of night, is just sensational. The colors on the rocks, it's just ripper. Absolutely love coming here this time of year, this time of night. Honestly, you just can't beat it. It might look dark enough, but it's it's just not. Um, I'll, I'll grab the iPhone and take a photo of what I'm looking at here, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's still fairly bright out there, so not yet. Whilst I'm waiting here, <laughs> I've been bitten by a few mozzies, so I thought I'll bring the flex tail out and hang it underneath the tripod. And I pulled it out, and the bloody thing's flat, so I've got it, I've got it over here, um, sitting on charge, just here out of the USB port here. So hopefully by the time it's dark enough, I can, I can shoot. But whilst we're waiting, it would be rude not to have a brew and watch the rest of the sunrise, sunset. Cheers. While I'm waiting for the rest of the blue hour to finish, um, I'm just shooting up against the rocks here. It's fairly dark. Um, the stars are coming out. There's still too much light over there for the galactic core, and it's up a little bit high yet still. I can't, I can't see it with the naked eye, and here you can. You can see a band of, of, of stars. So what I thought I'll do, I'll just test fairly low light, and uh, I'll put the Samsung on a tripod, and I'll use night mode. Um, went to maximum, 30 seconds, in the night mode, on the, in the camera app, and it was bloody terrible. I couldn't find focus. So then I took a handheld photo, night mode, 10 seconds, um, at the rocks with the iPhone. And this is what I got. You've got to admit, that's better. The focus wasn't quite right, so I touched on the rocks for focus, and I got a better photo. Then I put the iPhone onto the tripod, 30 seconds, touch for focus on the rocks, and the results are just polar opposites. Um, the night mode on the Samsung really, I think it's more for out with dinner with your friends and things like that. So I ended up doing a uh, pro mode photo with the Samsung, and it got better. But I still think the iPhone is better in this case. So I was waiting, 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 and I took some more photos as it got darker, but the galactic core wasn't in the place that I wanted it to be at. But I took some more photos with the galactic core. Basically, I've given up on everything with the Samsung S23 Ultra, except for the Astro mode in Expert RAW. And the reason for that is that's the thing that takes the best photo for this sort of thing. So we'll use that with a little bit of light there. You can see I've got a little panel light there, very small light. I'll turn it right down to 1%. I'll leave the diffuser on there. So it's a very small amount of light because I'll need to leave it on there for the whole four minutes for the S23 Ultra. So we'll take that photo um, first, and then we'll try it with the iPhone. And I've got to tell you, they're both going to be good. So I've turned that down now to 1%. The fuck was that? Don't know what that was. <laughs> that was big, whatever it was. Where I am, it's probably a wallaby. There's wallabies around up here. Yeah, that's have, that'd have to be what it was. Should be right. It'll be a wallaby, like a little bait, like a little, little, looks like a little kangaroo. It's moving through over there now. Scared the shit out of me, that did. <laughs> Let's take a photo. I've taken a couple. The light's a bit too bright for the Samsung. I'll move the bright light back here. We'll try it again. Well, that was actually pretty damn challenging. I had this, this light here on 1%. You can see him there, where is it? 1%. And still this was too bright for the Samsung. For the iPhone, it handled it pretty well. A couple of things to keep in mind before we go and look at these photos. Um, the iPhone is 30 seconds, the Samsung, you can go up to 10, but I just shot it for four. Personally, I haven't seen any benefit in 
going the Astro route for 10 minutes on this phone. I haven't seen any benefit whatsoever. Um, but that's the photo I got from the from the Samsung, which is pretty damn impressive. And from the iPhone, I'll go to the latest one, because we took a few. What about that? That's not too bad either. This is a raw file. This is a raw file. They obviously render differently, but we'll put them onto the computer, we'll edit them up, and we'll have a look at see how good the stars are on each. Let's go. All right, so we've put some photos here onto the Mac, and it's a bit weird. Um, there was a problem that I saw on Brent Hall's channel with the Expert Raw on the S23 Ultra, and I think it's still there. I'll have a look at some of these photos. Uh, I've got a few from the iPhone, a few from the Samsung. The first one here was before I actually sh started shooting the rock. So there's no light pollution, there's no light painting of any subject. And this photo here, I think is the S23, it is. Just looking at the metadata there, that's the S23 Ultra. If we just go into the stars, it all looks pretty good. These are all uh, expert raw photos. There's a few little um, uh, star trails there. This is all four minute long uh, photos. So there's a few star trails there. There's a bit of haze there, no big deal. We'll have a look at the iPhone from exactly the same point. This is exactly the same photo. So what I've done there, tripod, S23 in, Astro, four minute photo, take that phone out, put the iPhone in, hit the shutter, and this is the result. These are both raw files. Now, if I go into the stars here, there's a lot more stars. There's a bit more artifacts uh, on the iPhone, and that's something with the iPhone that's always been around there. But um, not too many star trails. There's one here and there. This is just the way that it builds the photos on both the phones. So um, that's the iPhone, and that's the S23. The S23 has definitely got the star trails there on the Astro photo, and the iPhone has... Um, I think I find them more on the extremities. If I look down here, you can see some down the, on the extremes of the lens, but in the center of it, not so much. Not so much at all. Anyway, let's go to this next photo. Now this one here, I believe is the iPhone. Yep, it's the iPhone. And I think when it comes to um, having a foreground subject that's lit up, the iPhone captures this so much better than the Samsung, so much better. Because we're shooting for four minutes, I've had to leave it on for the whole four minutes. Normally I would like flash it or strobe it or just paint it for a short amount of time. But because of the way that the uh, Astro mode works or an Expert RAW, it's taking lots of photos over that time. So it's not necessarily getting them all. I found that to be a bit of a pain. So you've got to hit it with light throughout the photo. And that's what I'm doing here. So the iPhone, handled it incredibly well. It's a bit blown out there, obviously, and this isn't a perfect situation as far as um, the light painting goes. Um, we changed that, but look at the sky, look at the rock, and look at the Samsung. The difference is stark. Nothing was done differently here. I'm not saying the Samsung shit here, I'm just saying it doesn't handle this very well. So we'll get rid of that because the light painting wasn't good. The next photo here, is I think Samsung. It is the Samsung. So exactly the same thing again here. I've taken the photo, the the the, um, the light away. It's sitting over to the side there, to my right, on its side. So only a very small amount of lights going out there. So the Samsung's picked it up pretty well. I think this is probably the best photo of the Samsung. We look into the detail on the rock. It's not too bad considering it's one frame. Um, there's a little bit of artifacts going on in the center there. That's a bit weird. I haven't seen that on a Samsung before. Star Trail, just like before. Um, the trees moving around, just, that's uh, it's all as I would expect it to be. Let's go look at the iPhone. The iPhone foreground, I've always said it, I think it's better than any other phone on the market at the moment. And that's it there. Look at the detail. This is all unedit unedited. Look at the detail on the rock compared to the Samsung. I think that the iPhone exposes that much better. Uh, let's bring that out. And now what we want to look at is how even the sky and the foreground is. And again, I think the iPhone has it here. And 
I really like the Samsung for Astro. Something's happened to it though. And I think it's in the software updates that it's had. Um, because if we go back here to this one, this other photo, and look at how different it is with the dark and the light, and it just doesn't handle it very well compared to the iPhone. Neither of them are great, neither of these two are great photos because the light painting is screwed up. But the iPhone has handled it so much better. Let's look at these last two here. That's obviously, to me, that's obvious. That's an iPhone photo. And there's a Samsung photo. I think when there's a foreground subject here, the iPhone does it just so much better. What I will say though, is that in the previous models of say the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra, the iPhone just wasn't even remotely close. But right now, right now, there's like a bee's dick in a bit between the two. I think you should be happy with either of them. I was talking with a friend of mine last night on Messenger and he said that he thinks that the Samsungs with Astro were probably at their peak at the S21. And I tend to agree. I think that the Astro on the Galaxy series has dropped a little bit in performance. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm going to edit up a couple of these and uh, I'll see you next week. Catch you later.